What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of a couple of items that I just got from Lyle Tools. I'm pretty excited about these two things, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. All right guys, so the first item that we got in the box is the new Lyle uh, electrical disconnect pliers. It's gonna be your part number right there, 37960. Let me go ahead and grab a knife and we'll get this thing open up here. All right guys, so this is the pliers set here. You've got some nice textured grips on the handle. The pliers feel pretty firm. And the way that these basically work, you got the wider tip at the bottom and this hook up on the top, and you basically grab the connector. You can use this hook to pull out the locking tab and then squeeze down on the connector. The wider end grabs it out from the bottom, the hook from the top, and then you pull the connector out, kinda how it's shown right here in this picture and supposed to make it really easy to get these connectors off. I know I personally sometimes do struggle getting the, the clip pushed all the way down with my fingers. So these will definitely come in handy. I'm very happy with these. I like the finish on them. Um, the Lyle products are, I believe these are made in Taiwan, uh, but they do have a lot of USA made products. So definitely check them out, guys. Um, I'm gonna get some good use out of these. I know, um, I would have probably liked if they were a little bit longer. Um, that way, in case the connector is down in the engine base somewhere and you got to reach it, so I know some longer ones would definitely come in handy. But All right, guys, and the next item that I got from Lyle are these two piece pocket pry bars. That's going to be your part number right there, 35170. And let's get the knife back out and get these opened up. All right, guys, so these are the pocket pry bars out of the package. As you can see, you get one with a thinner shank and one with a thicker one. Give you a look at the side profile there. And it looks like only one of them comes with a magnet. They both come with pocket clips. I kind of bent the pocket clip on that one, getting it out of the package, but that's completely my fault. But I like that these have a square shank on them. I know Snap-ons, I believe, have a round shank. Um, I think maybe Matco might have a square shank pocket pry bar, um, but I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head. I'll have to check them out at work tomorrow. Um, aside from that, I just wanted to give you guys a look at this other pocket pry bar that I have from JD Tico. This one is one that I've been using for a long time. Uh, magnet on it is super strong, but it is very thin. Um, hasn't really bent or deformed in any way, so does definitely come in handy. I'm very happy to get these square shank ones. I believe these are also made in China. Uh, like I said, Lyle does have a lot of USA made products. Um, so definitely check them out on Amazon or on Instagram or YouTube and take a look at all the products. Um, this is basically just a comparison to what it is compared to a pocket screwdriver here. Definitely the angle tip will definitely come in handy. A little bit shorter than the pocket screwdriver, but you guys can see how much thicker these are. And just kind of for comparison, I want to take a look at the strength of the magnets. I know this snap on pocket primer doesn't have a very strong magnet at all, but let's see if I pick it up slowly. And nope, it won't pick it up. The JD Tico one definitely will. Nice strong magnet on that one. Everybody knows how strong that magnet is. And now the new Lyle pocket pry bar. Almost did it. Let's give it one more shot. And nope, doesn't pick it up. But very happy with both of these purchases. I know I'm going to get a lot of good use out of them. Probably not going to be carrying this one too much now that I already bent it. But very happy with them nonetheless. Aside from that, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one.